Hey, yo, 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 make it like in the night. Oh, is it really? Hi, everyone. Yeah. Okay, so why, why did I, why did I join? It was very... God! I don't know what to say! <laughs> very hard for me. Hi, I'm Ila. Hi guys, I'm Abba. I'm Nathan. And I'm Kai. And today, we're gonna share with you our experience in Comcare 2019. So... I mean, I originally wanted to go for the London trip, which took place at the same time, but it got fully booked. At first, I did not really have any particular reason to join. I just... Uh, when I first heard about the advertisement about, about this trip, like, <laughs> Mr. Jonathan, I was, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was just like, mm, it was just another overseas school trip. Did I, <laughs> why did I join? Actually, my, my, my first reason was I had nothing much to do during the holidays, so I just decided to join this because it was, I thought it was something interesting and I wanted to try something new. And then also, uh, two of my friends joined and then they dragged me to join. Uh, So what we did in Konkye was quite fun. We organized an English camp for the children of Konkye Christian School. Uh, so we went there and then we taught them English through uh, English lessons and also a lot of games. Like we, we came up with our own math dance and we taught it to the kids there and they really enjoyed that. And we also um, had English lessons where we, we wanted to give them um, English words that will help them more in their everyday life such as like buying things in the market or counting. Before any of us joined, like none of us knew what to expect because it was like our first time going back in seven years. The planning process for the camp that we planned in Comcan was actually quite different from the other camps that we planned for BP because uh, first of all we weren't sure of what the situation in Thailand was. So um, actually one thing is that um, I didn't know that it will require so much commitment. Um, it actually required a lot of time just going back to school during the holidays just to meet up with the team and plan lessons and games. When, when we first went there, I was actually quite shocked to see that they couldn't really even speak that much English. So I was also quite stressed like, because we can only speak English, they can only speak Thai, so it's very hard to communicate with them. So then I think to counter this, these difficulties, we actually made a lot of backup plans. So then, yeah, we can play by ear when we go there and see so they come to this game and just change it. Um, going to Komkian is um, to help out in the school there is a unique experience that you can't really get anywhere else. Yeah, also it, it will also open your eyes up to uh, other things around the world, uh, such as the education system, how the students study in Thailand, and then it will also you, you can also get to experience new culture. And you can also get to eat their food, and then you can you can also learn their language, which is quite interesting too. And another thing is that um, I think it really helps you with your spiritual walk. You get the time to um, just reflect upon your relationship with God and um, like like spread this joy with other people. Even though we were not allowed to directly preach the gospel or to share God's words, as Thailand is actually a Buddhist country. However. What our actions were to be role models and to show God's love to the children. Yeah, so that night when Mr. Lam was sharing during the singing session, and 16 or 17 kids went up to the altar call to accept Christ, I felt that this was really God's work, and that even though it wasn't us who preached to them directly, I felt that God was using us as, as a means to. Share with them the gospel. Um, you really get a chance to impact the kids, the children's life, and and we have a chance to spread God's love, lah, which is what God commanded us to do in the Bible. Last year when we went, there was a really small group of us. It was only eight students and like five officers. And so, if this year, if more people sign up, more people 
be able to to do God's work and spread God's love more widely. Although we make KKMT sound very fun, and, and yeah, it's true that like, we had a lot of fun hanging out with our friends, playing with our kids, and uh, just like, getting to know each other. Like, but then I feel like that wasn't the main purpose of the trip. Yeah, but that's not the main purpose of the trip. The main purpose of the trip was to go and advance Christ's kingdom and There's just a lot. There's just There's a, a lot. Really of firm, firm. Oh. Anyways, most of the time if I want you to cut, right, I'll tell you, Emma, please cut this out. Okay. <laughs> uh, sorry. Yes, 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 yes. It's so hard. I feel like.